Dear friends, this is Lucy Fleury Levy, founder of Universal Grace Film Family Foundation. I hope you are well. I would like to remind you today that um, eternal spiritual spring is always within us and that whatever uh, we are going to wherever we are. It is vain to uh, go back to the illusion of the ego to try to find solutions because wars, for instance, which is what we are all uh, experiencing in this 3D uh, continually, <laughs> uh, initiating the ego, initiating our lower self. Hence, we can't find solutions to our intellect and to uh, even science because it reflects our intellect, the observations of the visible world around us. But it is disconnected from Source Divine, uh, Holy Spirit, which is... Um, what I explain in my book of the third past ray, I'm still writing it. I have been uh, sharing with you for free my intro, in a sense, my outline, guideline uh, about this revelation I was confided. And um, we need to reconnect with our uh, original divine higher self to precisely keep this connection with eternal bliss, uh, universal love, highest love. Hence, you know, as a humanitarian, you can see very, very traumatic, very difficult things uh, happening in our world. And when you have to accompany people under trauma, people who have lost everything, you can't do it from an ego lower self basis because you have no hope, you know, to give them then. Some people um, have lost uh, family, loved ones and, uh, um, you know, everything they, they had. So you need to um, have a higher perspective and at the, at the same time a closer perspective because the higher spiritual road is not far and is not distant, is not superior, you know, it's all the opposite. It's very handly, deeply inside, you know, that we are finding it in a very warm, motherly connection, uh, like um, a, a baby, you know, in the, phys in the physical world is um, nourished in the womb of his mother. We are nourished in the spiritual womb of the feminine divine and that's what I'm also explaining. This element has been missing, um, as many say at the moment, uh, I'm not the only one, missing from our uh, spiritual maps for a while now. I mean the obvious side of it, it was always uh, here with us but it was suppressed and repressed etc as everybody knows. Um, so now we want to reconnect um, consciously, very deeply, spiritually with this uh, feminine divine principle which is going to help us, nurture us, uh, the right solutions, the, the more you see this stress, the more you have to stay anchored in this bliss, this spring of the soul, this renewal, you know, because the feminine has a power to, um, from death bring life in a sense. So in this, it's a kind of rejuvenating new birth process, which we always live every day, you know, it's not just once, it's continually. But we need to be anchored in the source. Uh, and when we are, that's from this bliss, because we know there is no duality. We exited the duality. There is no evil, no good, only beauty. 
and goodness and universal love. So it's only from this bliss that we can give a better perspective and key solutions to others. If we are not connected with that joy, that peace inside, how can we bring it to others, you see? Because it's everything is relative in our 3D world. Um, you can be very joyful one day and the next you, you can be devastated. We all grow, we all go continually through very difficult tests in our lives. And how can you be always bringing positivity to others when you go through very dark patches in your own life unless you are connected with the root of positivity, the root of uh, joy and happiness, which is in continual bliss of the universal love spring. Thank you for listening, dear friends, and I send you much love, and let us send, uh, remain united in this universal inner bliss and peace, and send uh, send it to others continually, visualizing a better future, a new future, visualizing it instead of visualizing catastrophes as, as someone, they, they want us to be prisoners of negativity. But instead of um, listening to this, we, we want to listen to the deepest uh, inner voice of universal love and rejoice in it. And that's how we can bring and share joy to, with the ones we need, we need it the most. Much love to all of you.